refuse to turn my back on my race and see what's going on in South Central to my people and let these people come in here and just take over. I'm not going to sit back and watch it. And I think it's a terrible thing, a, a horrendous thing, for anybody to see this going on and say, well, he's a minority like me, so I won't speak up. I don't care where he comes from. The, the key to this whole thing is stop the denial, stop the, the alliances of, in other words, he's a minority like me, so I can't speak up against him. If this was white folks committing these lynchings to us in South Central, what's going on, there would be an outrage in this country. We have had firebombs thrown through windows. We have had people's cars burn in the driveway because they happened to move into the wrong communities. We had a lady who moved to East L.A., came to, to the state from the South, not knowing what East L.A. was. It was an all-Hispanic community. She wasn't there one day. We had another man who was burned out of his house in Torrance last year. We had five murders in Hawaiian gardens just because the people were black. This would not be tolerated if this was white on black crime. But the fact that these people come here, and it's the numbers, sir, it's the numbers. They come here in the numbers, they build up the Hispanic community, and they get this, this sense of power against us. And there, there are race riots in the schools every day in Los Angeles. It never makes the media. The black kids are being run out of the schools every day and told to go back to Africa. It never makes the media. We are, we are having people who are being discriminated against on every avenue of society, economic, schools, even in our prisons now, they have drawn lines, and our prisoners in California are being beat and harassed and raped by Hispanic gang members who recently arrived here because of the numbers. My answer to you, sir, would be to, we don't need any new laws. Enforce the ones we got.